Weather changes could be in store second half of the week, but uh, Tuesday, pretty nice, huh, Jordan? Yeah, I would absolutely agree, Chris. It has been a very nice day across the entirety of Central Texas, as well as the Brazos Valley. And we're in those mid 70s, but we're starting to see those clouds build in because of that moisture with that southerly wind. And it's coming at a pretty good clip at around 20 miles an hour. Relative humidity, though, at around 58%. And as we look at temperatures across the region, we were briefly at 80 in places like Lamp passes at San Saba. We've dropped back down to those upper 70s. But places like Gatesville Comanche checking in at 79 and we're also in those upper 70s in the Brazos Valley as well, especially Brenham checking in at 78. Now lows tonight mainly getting down to those lower 60s, but I do think we get down to maybe those mid to upper 50s in some spots, especially some of our northern zones. But as we head through the day tomorrow, we're mainly going to be getting once again to those mid to maybe even upper 70s out ahead of that front. That's going to cause a lot of those changes and we'll talk about those in a moment. Another rate on the Jordan meter for tomorrow because we are going to be warm, but we're also going to be muggy and we could have a few of those scattered clouds hanging around. But as we head through the next few days, we do have that front moving through like I talked about. And then once that front moves through, we do get down to a round average for this time of year. Average here in town is 70. I get to only 71 for your Friday before we get down to those upper 60s for your St. Patrick's Day weekend. Now for your Thursday, I do want to point out that pretty much everyone in Central Texas and northern sections of the Brazos Valley that does include you guys in Bryan College Station are under that two out of five slight risk for severe weather. And for my money, I think some of our northeastern zones could have the best chances for some of those stronger storms. Now, our main threats are going to be damaging winds as well as hail. I have that medium. Tornadoes, I do think they are going to be unlikely, but we can't rule out a brief spin up. That's why I have that in the low category. Now, as we go hour by hour, this is your Wednesday morning, but then as we head through your Wednesday afternoon, we do get to those upper 70s. Some areas may try to make a run at 80, especially as you head closer to the big country, places like Brownwood, Comanche, that could get up to around that 80 degree mark. But then by the time we get to Thursday, that's when those storms pop up. And then as we head through Friday, that front then makes its way through and really starts to drop our temperatures as we head through your Saturday morning. Now, rainfall totals could be pretty good, especially south and east of us here in Temple. Portions of the Brazos Valley could get two and a half, maybe even three inches at best, which would really be helpful for the drought situation if it were in southwestern portions of our viewing area. Seven day forecast looks like that active pattern from Friday all the way through St. Patty's Day weekend. Yeah, St. Patty's.